Choosing the right UTE can be a daunting task. Two perennial contenders, the 2024 Isuzu D-Max and Mitsubishi Triton, are vying for your attention. Both offer impressive capabilities, but which one reigns supreme? This comprehensive comparison, diving deep into comparing dimensions, engine details, performance, interior, exterior, drivetrain, and more, will help you navigate their strengths and weaknesses to pick your perfect match. The D-Max boasts a bold and muscular look. It features a large chrome grille, prominent fenders, and a commanding stance. This design emphasizes its off-road capability and utilitarian nature. The Triton takes a more modern and stylish approach to its exterior. It has a sleeker design with sharp lines, a sculpted hood, and a chrome grille that integrates seamlessly with the headlights. This design prioritizes on-road appeal without sacrificing a rugged aesthetic. The D-Max's interior prioritizes functionality over aesthetics. It features durable materials and a straightforward layout. Technology features vary depending on the trim level, but higher-end models offer a decent infotainment system and driver assistance features. The Triton's interior takes a more modern approach. The cabin uses higher quality materials and boasts a more stylish design. Technology is also a highlight with some trims offering a larger touchscreen infotainment system and a comprehensive suite of driver assistance features. Both the D-Max and Triton offer a good range of safety features including airbags, stability control, and traction control. However, higher-end Triton trims might come equipped with more advanced driver assistance features like lane departure warning and automatic emergency braking.
The D-MAX is known for its ruggedness. It features a proven off-road suspension, good ground clearance, and selectable four-wheel drive with low-range gearing. This setup tackles challenging terrains with confidence. The Triton is no slouch off-road either. It boasts a similar four-wheel drive system with low range and decent ground clearance. However, some reviewers find the D-Max's suspension slightly more adept at handling rough terrain. Both trucks are impressive off-road, but the D-Max might have a slight edge due to its suspension and ground clearance. While the D-MAX prioritizes capability, it doesn't sacrifice comfort entirely. The cabin offers a decent ride, but some reviewers find the steering a bit heavy at low speeds. The Triton might surprise you with its on-road manners. The suspension provides a smoother ride, and the steering feels lighter and more responsive. This makes it a more comfortable choice for daily commutes. The Triton takes the crown for on-road comfort and handling. Ultimately, choosing between the D-MAX and Triton boils down to your priorities. The D-MAX excels for off-road prowess, towing capacity, and affordability. The Triton shines with its comfortable ride, on-road handling, modern interior, and potentially more advanced safety features. We hope our in-depth breakdown helped to you. If you find this helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.